Hey folks, this is Shane. Thanks for taking the time to watch this little video. Out in the Brant Pine Ski Trail area again with my little Mesh-tastic devices. This time, I have three devices with me. I got a second Lilygo T-Beam, and we're gonna see if we can use the one that I had out before this rack as a basically a repeater to extend my range. Last time, I did everything basically what I refer to as man height. Basically, the device on my body, you know, in the torso region of a normal human being. Uh, that's where I carried this one and used it as it would be used in real life. And the T beam that I've been using uh, as the, the talk to point to see how far I can get the range, that's sitting in the console of my truck. Again, uh, not ideal for range, but realistic in operation. That's where it would, something would typically be sitting. So here's the plan for today. The first T-beam is sitting in my truck. Same position in the parking lot as before, as a good uh, constant for these tests. I'm gonna set this guy up a little bit further than what I got range with last time. When I get there, we'll go into detail on how I think that's going to work for me. And then I'm going to take that third T-beam and head out farther down the trail and see how far we can go. All right, here we go, a test within a test. Once again, I got the Lily Go T-beam sitting on the console of my truck. This time I have it plugged into a 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack. And the goal here is to see how long that lasts. Uh, in addition to the battery pack, I have the standard battery underneath it. So even after this test, I'm just going to let this thing run as long as it takes to drain both of them, just to get an appreciation of how long something like that can last. All right, so here I am uh, standing out front of the shelter that kind of sits at the hub of the different cross-country ski loops, as you can see. And this was the spot on my first round of testing that I was really hoping to be able to hit, since it's kind of the hub of this thing. But I wasn't able to. Uh, I was able to hit uh, a little further down the road on that trail, and you might be able to see why, because there is uh, a bit of a hill there. So like I said in the beginning, when I was working with these things, I have both the Mishtastic radios, I'll just call them, you know, man height, as I've been saying, uh, torso of a normal person. So with that, I'm at a disadvantage of, of the terrain. You know, line of sight, if there's lots of hills and stuff, uh, they will interfere with the signal. But I got this, uh, telescoping mask with. Uh, it's a 25 foot carbon fiber mask, the Gigadude 25. And I'm going to put that uh, rack device on the top of that, extend it, and that will give me the elevation that I'm looking for. Uh, amateur radio mantras is height is might. That's why repeater towers and cell phone towers are towers. You're getting up above the train, extending your range. So I'm gonna even cheat a little bit and set that thing up in the woods a little ways here off the trail up on top of that hill. Now that should give me coverage here and we'll see how far beyond it goes. I may have made a rookie mistake. I went off a little ways up onto that knoll I couldn't uh, reach the T-beam that's in my truck, even from 25 feet in the air on the carbon fiber mast. So I moved to a different location. Same thing, no go. Going to reset myself. I came back here to the location where the last time I was out here, I was able to make my furthest contact. And again, I can't hit the T-beam that's in the truck. I think it's a rookie mistake. When I plugged the external power supply into the T-beam that's sitting in the, my truck right now, 
it looked like it fired up, but maybe it was just not fully turning on. I'm brand new to this stuff, so I'm thinking that the, uh, the old T-beam in the truck is even on. So, no use stopping now. I'm off halfway through my hike. I'm gonna set this thing up here on the mast and fire up the new T-beam that I have. This will be interesting because I haven't turned that thing on yet. So let's see if it'll recognize devices out in the wild. Should. Right. All right, so I'm connected. This gave me the code to pair. There we go, set region. Should be rebooting. All right. All right, plan B is off and running. The new T-beam is up and going. We got the rack up the pole. Pretty much the same location as my farthest contact uh, for my last outing from here to the parking lot. So in theory, if all three devices are working, I should be able to go all the way, but I got a feeling the device in the truck is turned off because I'm an idiot. Here we are at my target location. Let's see, will I be able to reach the rack that's up on the pole from here? We'll send that. We'll find out together. I fully expect this to fail. Holy crap. See that? We did it. Very cool. Uh, this is a fairly good distance. We'll have to look on Google Earth when I put this down back at home. And that's a fair hop. So in theory, being at the rack is at the location where the last time out here, I was able to reach the parking lot. If the mesh is working, I should be able to reach the parking lot from this location. So very cool. Now we gotta go farther. <laughs>